Hey guys, welcome to the next prefecture challenge. This time it's uh, Fukushima prefecture, um, the third largest prefecture after Hokkaido and Iwate. I was a little bit surprised about that when I read it actually, but I guess I, I am surprised because uh, it's not, it's not going very far north south like in the other states of Tohoku, but it has a decent north size um, corridor, but it it extends extremely uh, far west, and it's the reason why last week's prefecture Niigata is so thin, is because Fukushima is so thick, <laughs> so. Yeah, another big prefecture. So um, the kanji is also quite interesting, or the meaning of the uh, prefecture. It actually means lucky island or blessed island or whatever, something like that. Now you might think, hmm, wh why? <laughs> why is that? There's no island that belongs to this uh, prefecture. I mean, of course... <coughs> A prefecture can be seen as an island as well but it's a little bit weird uh, so I tried to find some more information and one thing that I found was that there was a castle somewhere I'm not sure if it's in Fukushima city or somewhere else uh, and then the castle first had another name and was then renamed to Fukushima castle and the reason for that is because two rivers were going around the castle. So therefore acting, creating an island. And that's why the name um, might be like it is. Also, something really interesting is um, where is it? Yeah, here. Uh, Fukushima has an interesting border here. Technically, the prefecture ends, but it has a like. I read it's like a, a just a meter wide uh, corridor here to the mountain that belongs to Fukushima Prefecture. And not to Niigata how it should, or Yamagata, uh, which is, wait, is Yamagata the border here? I'm not sure, is it? No, I think that's, that's, that's only Niigata. So apparently there was, <coughs> apparently this, part here used to not be Niigata and then it was going over to Niigata but then there were some complaints according to Wikipedia but I, it didn't say what what exactly and I guess that's why it still is <laughs> like that today so that's very interesting um, flag oh no that's not the flag the flag is this one I'm not sure if that this could have been to do with the castle and the rivers maybe because I don't see anything else in this one um, area code is 24 so it's it's after Yamagata and before Niigata in the area codes um, yeah it has something in common with Iwate and that is like not as extreme as in Iwate but the major cities in this prefecture are in this middle valley corridor where also the Shinkansen runs and it's like the same as as there just that the valley here is a little bit bigger and on the coast it's a little bit flatter but also, it's not, there's not that much flat space. So, yeah. Um, what else? Oh, I didn't check the population density actually. 
How does it do there? Uh, Fukushima twentieth, mm, but that's that's total population. It's twentieth in total population. Or twenty first, it says here. But uh, the third largest prefecture. So, um, yeah, I, gu I guess it's also a red or countryside prefecture but it has some decent towns but just not one really big one even though Fukushima city is quite decent sized so yeah the Shinkansen is the one that comes from Sendai and goes through here all the way down here um, yeah, so it passes along those main towns. I'm not sure where it stops. Yeah, looks like it stops at least in Koriyama and yeah, probably Koriyama and Fukushima. Those are kind of the two major towns. Not sure how how big Aizu Wakamatsu is. Yeah, it's also quite big. Very interesting location. Like like Yamagata, this is like a big valley right in the middle of the country. So yeah, that's that. So so there's one valley, two valleys, and there's some coastal areas that are um, that are rather flat, but the mountain range is very close to the coast. So overall, pretty interesting topography on this state. It's not like just one valley and one mountain range. It's more than that. So seems pretty cool. So um, yeah, the prefecture is also famous for its fruits that it grows. Um, pears, peaches, cherries, grapes and apples. Uh, prefecture produces 20% of Japan's peaches and 9% of cucumbers. So that's a lot of peaches. And um, yeah, of course, in, in the in the West, uh, when a lot of people hear the word Fukushima, they always think of the nuclear um, incident that happened in 2011 after the earthquake and um, I find I find the term Fukushima that they used for that in the media a little bit stupid because who, who just wrote me um, it didn't happen in Fukushima city and yeah the thing is it also has a city that's called Fukushima and so a lot of people thought that that's where it happened but actually this area was rather safe and of course because of the tsunami that led to actually the meltdown uh, it's actually on the coast right here somewhere um so yeah i also read that uh, there's there's a dam that collapsed when the earthquake happened and it's quite it's somewhere here is it this one mm, it's not that big this one this dam here collapsed during like 20 minutes after the earthquake and it's like so far away man the, the epicenter is like here and the dam collapses here it's just crazy so this collapsed and a few people died because the water flooded houses and stuff and uh, if you look on google maps you can still see that uh they they have been rebuilding it and it's been completed in 2017 but you you can see the 2013 picture here where it's not a dam it's the water is gone 
but it used to be them you can see that those 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 lines here you can see that this was all of water <laughs> but not anymore as of 13 but probably back now as they finished it in 17 and um, yeah Fukushima is also famous for uh, lacquerware which is uh, this kind of very neat stuff that they do for for eating uh, eating stuff vases and stuff uh, very pretty so yeah and um, yeah following the earthquake 1817 residents of Fukushima prefecture had either been confirmed dead or were missing so that's after two years of the earthquake and that was because of earthquake and tsunami it doesn't say anything with the radiation here because um <clears throat> yeah the the problem remains of course um because the radiation is not gonna go completely away for like th probably thousands of years um but uh, you can see on this map here that it actually is going down but like the levels are like way too high so this is this is april 2011 after the incident like a month later so you can see that oh no i should leave it at this um yeah that due to the wind from the reactor northwestward is where the most radiation spread so you can be quite a bit away from the reactor if you like here but radiation is still pretty bad but not um on the of course not like right next to the reactor so they they don't even show that how it's there <laughs> so that's a millisiever per hour um, so you can go through it here you can see a lot of red whoa that that's crazy look at look at how the radiation spread even within a month to the to the valley of Fukushima and Koryama that's just insane that it's not green is not extremely high but that's still I wouldn't want to live there I guess that's crazy and then july you can see the red gets smaller quickly but it's still red of course and then over the years let's go a little bit faster the red gets smaller 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 that's 12 that's actually a little bit over a year and the red is almost gone but red is so high radiation like it's crazy 19 it's between nine and a half and 19 so that's insane so 13 14 15 16 oh man it's so the red is gone since 16 November but of course there's still and this is 18 there's still orange areas so you can see it's getting better but it's like gonna take a long time and and the worrying thing is also that yeah the, the radiation is also slightly elevated in those valleys where the most people live so overall i guess japan has been a bit lucky in the sense that this catastrophe happened in an area that did not have that much population even though namie had like how much 40 or 50000 people but like imagine happening something like this in tokyo or like how many more lives would be affected so 
I guess from that standpoint they can be lucky that this mountain range is here because otherwise there would be much more people here living here because you can see Nami is quite flat so um, you can also see the improvement of the of the evacuation zones over time on this link um, yeah you can see here it's it says it's just 2.7 percent of the whole prefecture is in evacuation designated zones um, so you can see here how the over time it improved so you you can see now that um, basically all of the reactor is here right on the border to from Futaba and Okuma town basically almost all of Futaba is still um, not possible or not allowed to live there um, most of Okuma not not the the western parts are uh, a little bit lower uh, yeah it's business operation is permitted in those green areas and in the in the orange it's only partially allowed so that then the northeastern part of Tomioka is uh, the rest is quite good but this is an Nami town limit it's quite a big town limit and almost all of Nami especially the mountainous area is still very bad this the northeastern part of the town is pretty um, pretty good because the wind was going this way and so the be, this was kind of spared even though I mean not spared it's still rather high levels but uh, it was quite um, lucky in the sense that it's so close to the reactor but it's people living there and building new houses and stuff you can see on Google Maps and then there is uh, still this tiny bit of Itate and Katsurao that are also not able to return uh, yeah so yeah that was a long intro did I forget anything no I guess I have it all so let's get playing so I just think it's a really interesting topic with the Fukushima uh, Daiichi nuclear meltdown they should have called it like is it in is it in Okuma I think it's Okuma where the plant is they should have called it Okuma not Fukushima that's so misleading but but I guess part of the reason is because the plant itself is called Fukushima Daiichi so in the media every, everyone uh, just used that we're close to Kitakata I saw that that's pretty that's here that's right in this inner valley and we now are, we we went south or something we reached 16 and the 336 is right here Where is that? Oh, it's here. Is that here? Wait, how is that possible? Sixteen, and so we are here now. So we came from somewhere. Hmm. Can we see the train line from here? Oh, what happens if we go north? Hmm, doesn't look good. Oh, it ends here? Okay. So 
we 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 go east and south to reach what is the 16 ah oh, we could be here on this one yeah maybe but was there like such a can we turn off here somewhere on the starting location hmm where could that be looks pretty neat this um, kind of area here <laughs> even though this house is not doing so well some rice fields so it takes quite a bit so um, yeah yeah we weren't that close but it was the right road so i'm fine with that um yeah next round okay looks like a classic japan round some mountains but also not extremely mountainous some left behind buildings here that's for sure but there is a farm, so this, it's still people living here. But it's not left behind, it seems. So Typical Japanese prefecture. <laughs> I don't see any Japanese cedars. So that's definitely. I feel like Fukushima prefecture can look more north than actually the other prefectures that there are close by. The like, like Akita and Iwate. I feel like this is more telling that it's north, even though now we get some Japanese cedars here. But it's still uh, very, very few. Interesting tree there. So no sign and this might still not be a prefecture road it's hard to tell I have no idea which area this is is it like closer to the valley that we just saw or is it like closer to the coast I have absolutely zero idea about this one because it definitely doesn't feel coastal but it's also not extremely mountainous but yeah that's just typical Japan I'm just gonna go somewhere in the middle or something oh what do we have here we have uh, we have 399 Where's that? Oh, there. Okay. So that is the mountain range closer. And, and that's actually not, that's not far away from the reactor. If you look at, it's almost perfectly east-west from here. But that area was actually the luckier because it went northwest the ra most of the radiation so yeah it's still a bit away but oh this looks this looks more mountainous so I wonder what that means looks very different 
more like the typical mountain roads. Uh, this feels more like central Japan, which we're getting to slowly with our prefecture, we're getting closer. Yeah, this feels very central Japan to me. Was that? No, that's nothing. Oh, there's some big sign here. Some big ass sign. There is a dam, maybe. Or is it the big lake in Aizu Wakamatsu? No, it's not this one. We're on the 115. Oh, we have no idea where oh that's here oh there's a there's a lot of lakes here so we might actually be so maybe we're actually this sign is actually for this lake but we're just not that close to it So we've seen some quite different landscapes so far, three different ones. I mean, one we had not really landscape because it was in a town. So no signs to how far away we are from other stuff. We need snow chains apparently here. Because, yeah, that's quite a bit away from the coast. So, less mild climate, I guess. Oh, exclusive car road. The one is here. E13. What? Where's that? Oh, we're rather here then. We're somewhere here because those two roads come together. Ah, uh, uh, here. I reached that. So that's actually closer to Soma in the very northern part of the prefecture. Wow, there's just like holy shit, that was right on the border here. Almost. Hmm. This one looks more like round two. Decently high mountains. But not really mountainous. Some fields, not many people. Even though here we don't have any houses. And in the other round we still had a few houses. Okay, now we're getting into the small town, I guess. A lot of rice here. Mm, quite a few houses all of a sudden but it's gonna stop most likely soon already <laughs> blue roof house in this region okay Wait, what what happened here? I came from here, right? Wait, are they? Oh no, they are just... That's where I came from and how can I continue here? What? I need to go this way? Okay, I gotta try. 
Oh boy, this location is tough. Oh boy. Let's just go, go, go. <laughs> okay, oh, well, there's a sign, finally. 338 and 49. 49 might help me get a, at least maybe some decent points. Where's 49? Oh, that's too cheeky. Uh, 49 is here. Where does 49 go? Oh, no. It goes through the whole state. I actually think we're in this region again. But maybe I can find 338 in the meantime. Maybe. Uh, 49, where do you go from here? Wait, here? Maybe it's somewhere here. Well, no, it's, it's not that far countryside there. But there's three numbers here, so, oh, there's 37, maybe it's somewhere here. Oh, wow, even further. Wow, close to Niigata. Again, we're close to... Kitakata, which was also the second. No, that was the town location, I think. So, right here in the middle of nowhere. Last round. Oh, there is a city over here in the west. I want to go there. In the west, I want to go in the west. Go west, go west. Rare occasion to get a city or close by. But here it actually doesn't feel like we're in a city at all. Mm, it's hard. <clears throat> what the fuck, man? It's hard to say how big it is. Did it just do something weird with the compass or why am I going back? I feel like I'm going back. It's weird. So we're within the mountain range, so it's probably not the coastal town. So we're probably in the big valley, unless it's like the Aizu Wakamatsu valley there. Oh, there is a sign here. Oh boy, that's a lot of letters. Oh, wait, Aizu Wakamatsu city. So we're rather there. Uh... Can I spot the 33? Because that should be close by. There. Kawa Higashi. Higashi means um, east. Kawa Higashi Machi is here. So. But, uh. Huh, hard to find the exact spot, I guess. Ah, I don't want to go this way. Ah, what the heck? <laughs> Weird street view here. Country roads again. Somewhere here, maybe where's less people. I don't know. Oh, actually, over here. Did I cross the railway or see it somewhere? I don't know. I did not notice. Uh, I uh, tried to go west, right? So 
but there's also the railway here <laughs> it's two okay uh, three locations here which is quite surprising we didn't get one in this valley that's crazy not not one location here two times in the mountains and one time also here in the mountains right All right, let's add the places on the map. So, yeah, let's I guess that's it for this video. Um, next prefecture we're going. We're continuing our journey to Gunma prefecture. So yeah, hope to see you then. So thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. Bye bye.